Hi, everybody. Pastor Jason back with you once again for another Wednesday Reflection. As I sit before you this day, I look at the words coming up from our epistle lesson from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and boy, are they appropriate for me today. As you know from following these reflections, there's been a lot going on in our family with our daughter rescheduling a reception for her wedding that we had last year, and of course, couldn't have a full-blown reception. You know, with Andrew graduating from the seminary and Kristen and Garrett now living with us for this week, um, it's a joy, but boy, there's just been a lot of things happening. And that sometimes can get myself, my wife, my family, and and you probably know what I'm talking about, a little bit um, off the mark. And yet, as we look at these words from 2 Corinthians 5, there's a word in there called courage. And it's not the courage we have in ourselves or in our own mentality, but it's the courage that we have because of what Christ has done. That's our foundational thought as we listen and learn from God's word this day. So I read from 2 Corinthians chapter 5. We know that if the tent, which is our earthly home, is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heavenly dwelling, if indeed by putting it on we may not be found naked. For while we are still in this tent, we groan, being burdened, not that we would be unclothed, but that we would be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. He who has prepared us for this very thing is God, who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please him. This is the word of the Lord. Sometimes in our lives, in the midst of the chaos and the difficulty, we have things coming at us from so many different angles. And in this letter to the church at Corinth, this tent is our body. And as wonderful as it is, and God has gifted us to do so many things, to think and reason and and our senses, of course, and our ability to move about and and work and, and relate, have children and and so many beautiful things, we know that in this tent, in our body, it isn't perfect. It breaks down. It endures and perseveres conflict, conflict of body and conflict of mind, conflict within ourselves and conflict with others. It seems like there's not a day that goes by that we might not feel the effects of conflict from within our family or within the church family, or within our neighbors. On our street, they're redoing a bunch of things, and so we haven't been able to drive into our driveway the past three days, and so that's caused a little conflict as well. And yet, as we look at this tent, this body which we wear, which we are in, we can take heart. Be of good courage. Even though we groan and we long for that which is better than what we have, We can trust in Jesus, our Lord, and have courage. Even in the midst of those things that might tear us down, people who might tear us down, we have great courage because of the love that we have in Jesus, who has given us a faith in this earthly tent, in this body, to persevere in the midst of all the stuff that is bombarding us that is negative, All those things which want to drag away from us that which Christ has redeemed. So often in our lives, we allow those things to grapple with us and sometimes even to pull us farther away than we would like. Happens to all of us. Maybe even it's happened to you today. Thanks be to God that we know of another tent that God has placed us in. It's not the earthly tent where our bodies break down and decay but a heavenly tent, a body in our soul where we will be in perfect union with those around us and in front of the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. As believers, even in the midst of dark days and difficult conversations, we have a God who says, I am with you every step of the way. We are of good courage 
Sure, I'd love to be in a, in a better body or even in, in the presence of the Lord in that perfect tent. But that's not where God has you or me at this time. In the midst of that, we can lay our troubles, our burdens, our struggles at his feet. For we know, as scripture states, he cares for you and he cares for me. What comfort and consolation this gives to me in the midst of those difficult days where I'm not sure exactly what he wants me to do or say. In the midst of the conflicts in our world, I still can be of good courage because I know this is not the end. And that the things that I'm struggling with or that other people are struggling with, if we've harmed or, or, or harmed someone else, we can repent and receive full forgiveness of sins. And that is where we ended our text for today. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to, play, to please him. I pray that's always your goal. I know we fall short. We do things, we say things, we live ways that, that aren't uplifting to our God and, and how he has called us to live. And yet continue, beloved brothers and sisters, dearly loved by God, saved in Jesus the Christ, be of good courage. Be of good courage because your God is with you. Maybe today you're not so sure. Maybe you wonder if he's really around. I pray you believe me when I say he most certainly is. Sometimes in this earthly tent, it's hard to see it. And yet this text reminds us of another place that one day we and all who've gone before us believing in Jesus as Savior, that promise will be fulfilled in you and me as well. That's what we yearn for, even in the midst of the groanings of this day and the struggles of this world. What a joy it is to know this isn't the end. That if you're struggling this day, it doesn't have to be the end. That we have someone to whom we can call upon, our great God. I pray this brings you comfort this day. In the midst of the battles, in the midst of the storms of the day or the weeks that have happened or maybe yet to come. That you will continue to strive to aim high in pleasing your God and those around you. God loves it when we think of him and follow his ways. And even when we falter and fail, he's right there to pick us back up and lead us back to him. And then from that, with a smile, rejoicing in the joy that we have in his salvation for you and for me. So be of good courage today. Be strong in God's word. Know that he is with you every step of the way. He hasn't left you. And that he promises to give you exactly what you need so that you might move forward in his name. It may not be exactly what you want. It may not be perfect. But he is always about what is best for you. I pray you trust in that this day and that you have great courage as we live in his name. May God grant that for you this day and always.